Taxes, safety, or returns? Which one's your priority? Welcome to How To, where we answer your financial questions. With recession fears and high interest rates, we've continued to receive more questions on bonds than typical. Today, we're going to break down the difference between the main types of bonds, treasury, municipal, and corporate. Treasury bonds are direct loans to the Department of Treasury. They are seen as safer than most, mainly because they're backed by the U.S. government. Because of this, interest rates can be lower than some other bonds out there. However, a nice bonus of buying treasury bonds is that any interest you earn from these bonds are free of state taxes. For income earners in states like California or New York, that can make a huge difference. Municipal bonds, also known as munis, are loans to state, county, and city governments. Local governments use these bonds to fund projects like highway construction or park renovations. The unique benefit of municipal bonds is that any interest earned from the bonds is free of federal taxes. If you buy a municipal bond from the state that you reside in, you also receive interest free of state taxes as well making the bond entirely tax-free. For high-income earners, this is a huge benefit. Because of this benefit, municipal bonds offer much lower interest rates, so it's important to compare what your tax equivalent yield would be and whether it's more advantageous to buy munis or another type of bond. Corporate bonds are direct loans to a company. They have a higher risk of failing to pay investors, so they generally offer higher interest payments than government bonds. Since they're not a government entity, any interest coming from these bonds is considered taxable. So who's generally a good fit for bonds? Anyone looking for consistent income, stability in their portfolio, or looking to preserve their wealth? Reach out to us to sit down and determine if bonds make sense for you and what bonds would best benefit your situation. And don't forget to follow us on all of our socials so that we can answer your financial questions. See y'all next week.